In this lesson, we will learn different types of sets, cardinality and equivalent set. The first one is universal set. It is expressed using capital U. The universal set is a set that contains everything. That is why it is known as universal set. For example, say we have two sets, A and B. The elements of A are 1, 2, 3, 4, and the elements of B are 5, 6, 7, and 8. Then the universal set will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. See, this universal set includes everything. The next type of set is empty set. It is actually opposite of universal set. Universal set contains everything and the empty set contains nothing. It is also known as null set. Empty set is expressed by phi and it has no element in it. However, do not think that 0 is an element of phi. It is wrong because 0 is a number. That means it is an element. An empty set is a set that has absolutely no element in it. Let us have an example where x such that x belongs to natural number and x is greater than 3 and less than 4. What do you think? What should be the element of this set? We know that n is a set of natural number that includes only positive integers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. There is no fraction in natural number. You see, there is no number in between 3 and 4. So a natural number that is greater than 3 and less than 4 does not exist. That means the result is an empty set. After empty set, we have singleton set. The singleton set is a set that has only one element. For example, S is a set and it has only one element that is 1. Then S is a singleton set. Let's have another example. X is a set and the element is 124. Although there are three digits, still it is a single number. That means it is a singleton set. However, if I separate these digits using comma, then it is no longer a singleton set. So, long story short, singleton sets are sets those have only one element in it. Let's remove this one so that it doesn't create any confusion. After singleton set, we have finite set. The set that has finite number of elements is called a finite set. 
For example, say f has 1, 2, 3 and 4 as element. There are four elements in this set. The number of elements are countable. That means they are finite. That is why it is a finite set. Let's take another example where x equals 2, 4, 6, 11 and so on. Now here the elements are not finite. You see this three dot means it keeps going. When we have a set like this, we call it infinite set. The next type of set we are going to talk about is subset. The name subset is quite self-explanatory. It is a sub of a set. That means there is a large set and subset is a part of that set. If this large one is a set, then this small one is subset of this large set. Let us take another example. Suppose we have a set A and the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. And we have another set B and the elements are 2 and 3. Now here B is a subset of A. Why is that so? Because B has 2 and 3, A has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which includes 2 and 3. Actually, B is a part of A, is a sub of A. That is why B is a subset of A. Let's draw these two sets for better understanding. This is A and the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and this is B. So B is actually inside of A. That means B is a subset of A. We are not going to talk details about subset now because there is a complete lesson for subset only. For the time being, let's focus on cardinality of a set. The cardinality of a set is a measure of the number of elements of the set. Suppose we have a set A and the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then the number of elements, which is cardinal number, is expressed as n of a and it is 5. Let's take another set b and the elements are 120 and 10. Then the cardinal number n of b is 2. It is very easy to find the cardinal number, isn't it? Suppose we have an empty set E. What is the cardinal number? Without any doubt, the cardinal number of an empty set is zero because 
An empty set does not have any element. So we have learned what is cardinality. Let's see what is equivalent set. If two sets have same cardinal, number then they are equivalent suppose x is a set of a b and c and y is a set of 1 2 and 3 then cardinality of x is 3 and cardinality of y is 3. As the cardinal numbers are same, by definition we can say x and y are equivalent. Mathematically, we express this relation using tilde symbol. This tilde symbol represents equivalent. Remember, equivalent is not equal. They are totally different things. In this example, x and y are equivalent, not equal. So we have covered different types of set, cardinality and equivalent set. That's all for this lesson and I'll see you in the next lesson.